Welcome to the bringer of karma within World of Tanks console. It is the new ultimate season pass vehicle for this season and with this tiger season uh, This one comes in uh, of course 6,000 gold if you want to actually pick up this vehicle and of course it comes alongside 25 point well levels automatically done alongside a hero commander blah 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 and also a factory fresh skin which acts as your camouflage on this vehicle and this is the skin it is literally just a blank skin that you don't have to pay camo for so with that being said why is this the bringer of karma for the vehicles in era 3 well i use this vehicle in addition to the new operation to both earn silver and track down some of those annoying and blatantly overpowered vehicles like for example the one right next to it, the Malo, and also uh, some of the other tanks including the most hated vehicle of Era 3 probably, the Weasel Tow. And so with that being said, uh, the Topol or the Object 490 is what we're looking at today and there's particularly nothing amazing about this vehicle in terms of how it actually plays in the game. Uh, its armor model is okay but it certainly has pretty good turret armor, you can make it work. However, the upper hull and lower plate make this tank absolutely annoying to play and most of the time you're getting penned. The side armor of this vehicle is also not particularly very good either, so you can get penned in the side of the tank quite reliably. It does have a little frontal spaced armor plate on the front of the side of the vehicle, but behind it is a 180 millimeters of armor and include the tracks. You've got about effective of probably, I would say, in the region about 250 to 300 effective armor on the side. But given that most tanks in era three have upwards of 600 uh, penetration with some tanks being significantly lower, everyone, and I mean almost everyone, is gonna be able to pen you very, very reliably. But uh, this thing, I used it as the hunter of the overpowered tanks and that is the ultimate reason why I wanted to showcase it today as well as uh, kind of play it and showcase what the tank is capable of because at the end of the day this is a fast kind of medium style vehicle that has decent DPM, it has good accuracy, it has 6 degrees of gun depression which isn't amazing, it does go 72 kilometers an hour so it's up there with some of the uh, kind of faster vehicles in the game but unlike uh, some of the other uh, more broken tanks it doesn't get the armor and the speed, it really just has that turret armor to make it work. So you want to get hold down if possible to make it kind of work properly. Uh, you are very prone to getting attacked by weasel toes because, well, I mean, every tank is. Um, but yeah, primarily want to be using it as kind of a support brawling vehicle that kind of goes around and helps out your team and mobilizing around the map to try and help them out as best as you can and focusing down some of those annoying vehicles that you're most likely to come up against. Uh, straight out of the box, this tank is probably not a vehicle. If you're wanting a over powered tank or something that is very very strong within the game and you want a vehicle that is going to be able to consistently deal you know 8k damage in the games this probably isn't the one although it is very consistent it just doesn't have that top scale uh, or top level gameplay where it is just insanely good it is very decent and i think that this tank is a very well balanced vehicle in comparison to uh yeah it's uh it's brother here um but at the same time you do sacrifice of course performance in your games if you play this vehicle it does get a 50 percent silver bonus so it's down at the lower end of silver bonuses within um a cold war so you're not gonna particularly earn a huge amount of silver in this vehicle other than the fact that you, in this tank you don't really need premium rounds to make it work since you get very good pen with your standard rounds of 600 you're dealing 550 alpha per turn so it's pretty good and when you end up using all of the perks and equipment you get 4846 damage per minute 0.23 accuracy 2.1 second aim time and a pretty decent vehicle overall but probably the bit that you've been wanting to see is how did we actually play in the game so being that we didn't want to play this vehicle as a uh, a traditional medium tank and we were primarily focused on ruining some of the overpowered tanks that ruin everyone's games uh, we certainly didn't have as good of results as we possibly could but of course 
that's all part of making content for you guys and hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully you enjoy watching this one and at least getting uh, some karma redemption for some of these annoying tanks that I'm sure many of you have actually seen and focusing down some of these vehicles uh, can certainly feel very worthwhile and you're about to see that uh, in this game. We do have a 477A Malo that we're going to find later on and yeah I definitely thought that if we can remove that tank it's going to be all worth my time and my hit points so we'll see that in a second. Um, but of course uh, when you're playing a tank like this this is a sort of position that you want to be in at the beginning to kind of get a few easy shots into opponents even if you don't actually hit them um, you know uh, essentially you want to play it quite passively when you're playing it properly so it isn't particularly a very good uh, frontal engagement vehicle where you're having to trade with things like the Malo but uh, we do find ourselves the 477A over here and instead of you know taking the passive approach we just decide you know what screw it I'm sick of seeing these things being absolute disgusting and overpowered so what better way can we do that than to get hit by a weasel toe just as we do it and so we go after this little 477A and uh, yeah he's running for his life oh dear what's that you don't have a fully traversable turret so you can't turn around and hit me ah oh, what an absolute shame although it isn't going so well right now other than actually managing to bounce the 477 uh, or the weasel toe there uh, but you can see we're just coming around from behind chasing him down and kind of making our way towards the Malo making sure that we don't end up kind of exposing ourselves to the frontal part of his vehicle and ah oh, it's such a shame that he can't turn around and hit us oh dear what a nightmare for him and ah oh, he does us a solid by avoiding us being able to be hit by the weasel toe which in fact actually ends up with him taking himself out there because the weasel probably would have removed me before I could finish him off but mission successful game done game set and match taking one of the most annoying vehicles out of the game in this one albeit in a fashion where we lost almost all of our hit point well we did lose all of our hit points and for basically no real gain other than 400 additional hit points to the damage that we took but either way, that's what this tank is here for. At least that's what I like to play this tank for. Now, having been attacked by the Weasel Toes so much in this game, I've decided that maybe I should uh, share the love with them as well. And so uh, we'll see what we can do and see whether or not they're going to find the same treatment as what happened with the 477A in the previous game, where we just try our best to ruin their games in whatever way possible. Uh, and so in starting we are going up into the middle location this game is actually a better one in terms of how much damage we deal we certainly were a little bit more competitive uh, with how much damage we dealt compared to other people and we definitely didn't lose all of our hit points um, to actually do so but either way what we're doing here just getting into this central position the enemy team as with cold war it's a case of one team goes one side the other team goes the other side and it's literally just a case of uh, essentially uh, firing at each other across the map which is always a fun and dynamic gameplay experience but you can see there we managed to pick up a thousand damage we're going for a little shot on this guy which we actually managed to hit so surprising there um, and then we try and go for another one which we bounce which is fantastic and uh, this is where it is annoying um, with <laughs> with trying to fire in Cold War uh, from such a distance as you don't really know if there's any obstacles which there was against that previous guy and you have to be a lot better at actually uh, aiming at faster vehicles and stuff like that it's not as slow um, and of course yeah leading where you think people are going to be now we find ourselves a nice little 477A who's decided that he's getting in the cap rather than playing the game not entirely sure why you'd do that in that sort of vehicle but hey ho uh, we are currently playing on the American server right now which is um, a new experience since uh, the EU server was currently down when we were actually playing or something definitely going on because it wouldn't let me actually even pick the European server um, which is not fun when you're trying to get decent ping um, but either way we're up to 2.8k damage with 700 assists but we're getting 
pumped by someone in the back, which appears to be the Macava, or the Macava, whatever you want to call it. Um, we hit him, but it bounces, it hits the well-angled upper plate, um, which is unfortunate. We weren't aiming for that, we wanted the side of him, and oh, look, a weasel toe. Uh, and then we bounce off the side of him uh, because we hit right at the back and I'm sure it hit a it's angled spaced plate or something. Then we try and hit the side of him and it hits the frontal upper plate at a ridiculous angle. Ugh, it's an absolute nightmare to actually try and get any damage on this guy. And then he exposes himself. Can we get one? Yes, we actually can. Finally, finally we find ourselves. And oh, look, the weasel. Oh, run for your life, Mr. Weasel. We're coming to you in just a second. Uh, we're up to 3.9k damage so far, which is okay. We go for a little shot on the Macava here, just trying to secure a bit more damage in this game. Uh, and the best thing about it is that there is currently an operation whereby the first three wins of the day you'll get boosted silver and not just a small amount of boosted silver but no almost well it goes up to five times boosted silver which is amazing and essentially with five times you're able to get millions of silver in a game if you're for using the right premium tank and of course playing cold war if not you're probably even upwards of you know a couple hundred thousand and depending on how good of a game you have it's going to significantly improve that experience Oh, oh, that, that, oh, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. that's a real shame, Wister Weasel. I think we're going to find you in the corner. Oh, what an absolute nightmare for the weasel. I feel really bad about doing that. I definitely feel really awful uh, about kind of finishing that guy off, ramming him up against the rock and showing him that his overpowered little rat of a tank uh, isn't so good. Um, and so with him out of the game, there's another weasel and oh, this could be a ton of fun as well. Uh, the little weasels are out in force today as they are every day. And uh, oh, he's on no health, so we'll finish him off as well. Ah, two weasels to the tally, adding to our little special reward of basically dealing damage to overpowered vehicles. Uh, and that's what I like to do in Cold War, literally just focusing down the little rat tanks that people play because they feel like they're super good at the game when they play them. And in fact, it's just literally the tank being that good. Either way, 6.7 thousand damage is okay. It's certainly nothing exceptional in Cold War for an Era 3 vehicle. But then again, we aren't a Malo or a Weasel, so it's pretty decent. We earned 1.1 million silver, which was fantastic and certainly going to help me out with purchasing equipment on loads of different vehicles alongside buying some of them. And so I highly recommend you go and check, try out uh, Cold War to be able to earn that silver. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then feel free to like it. And my overall opinion on this tank, should you pay the extra 4,000 gold to pick up the ultimate season pass, I think it is actually worth it. I really enjoyed this tank. I felt like it was a decent one. It's nothing overpowered and it just feels like a nice tank to play if you can deal with Era 3's absolute nonsense, which is the matchmaker because of all of the broken tanks that are in there and the absolute toxic cesspool that is the Era. Um, but if you actually want a balanced tank that might be able to do something um, and you want to focus down some of the other vehicles, then yeah, this one is definitely up there. I really liked it and hopefully you guys will too if you just did decide to purchase the Ultimate Season Pass. Other than that, if you have any questions or queries, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.